good morning. Welcome to Kings at Home Daily. This morning is Monday morning. Glad you could join us. Uh, excuse my croaky voice. I hope you can hear me. Uh, we're going through this wonderful book of Nehemiah. Really pre so practical, so helpful. And we have got to chapter three. But first, let's pray. And then we'll see what the Lord has for us today. Lord, thank you so much that we, we're not on this journey of faith alone. We're, we're part of the family of God. And as we look at Nehemiah today and the building, as it were, of the, the people of God, I pray it'll speak to us and encourage us and help us as church family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we are in chapter 3. Chapter 1, Nehemiah, Nehemiah is in Susa and he hears about the plight of the people of God and he's troubled so what he so what does he do he prays he prays to the god of heaven and uh, he repents of the of, of, of the state of the people of god back in in uh, jerusalem and then he takes some action prayer and action prayer that's what we're going to find all the way through nehemiah and so uh, he goes to the king and uh, and he, that famous sort of arrow prayer you know uh, he where, where, where the king says so what 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 do you want to do about this? What we're going to do about this is from the king. I mean, you know, he's it, think of kings in those days, powerful flick of the fingers and your heads off, and uh, an arrow. Pray God help, and he makes an ask, um, and then he ta and then uh, then he takes action. He's off back to um, to Jerusalem, and that lovely phrase we saw again and again: um, <clears throat> the gracious hand of my God was on me. That's so lovely, gracious hand of God. Oh, it, it's on you, it's on me, the gracious hand of God. Beautiful. And now we get to chapter, uh, he's back at Jerusalem, he takes us, he surveys the situation, it's time for action. So here we are in chapter 3. Eliashib, the high priest, and his fellow priest went to work and rebuilt the sheep gate. Went to work. That, that word in the Hebrew really kind of means strength, strengthened, got, got uh, built up, strengthened. That, that's what this book's about, the strengthening, the building up of the people of, of the Lord. <clears throat> they dedicated, dedicated it, the sheep gate, and they set its doors in place, building as far as the Tower of Hundred, which they dedicated and as far as the Tower of Hanel, the men of Jericho, Jericho built the adjoining section, and Zakur, the, the son of Imri, built the next section. So it's something lovely going on here. It's all being done as unto the Lord. They dedicated it to the Lord. They dedicated it to the Lord. And that's, that's so important, you know, in our, our lives. We're, you know, we're, we're fellow workers together. You know, we're, we're called to this wonderful calling to... to uh, to, to see the kingdom of, 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 of heaven coming about, the, 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 the royal activity of God. So they, 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 they went to work to rebuild and they dedicated. Um, okay, let's keep going. The fish gate was rebuilt by the sons of Hasana. They laid its beams, put its doors and bolts and bars in place. Very practical this, very practical, hands-on, practical. And uh, life in the family of God is like that. You know, it's, it, 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 yes, prayer is so important. Um, but there's also a getting out there and, and uh, helping, strengthening, encouraging, being kind to one another. It's out there. That's the, that's the life of the family of God. Beautiful, isn't it? Laid its beam and put its bars in place. Merimoth, son of Uriah, and the son of... of uh, Hakos repaired the next section. Next to him, Meshula, this is challenging, all these names. <laughs> Meshula, son of Berechiah, the son of Meshezabel, Meshezabel, made repairs. Next to him, Zadok, son of Bana, also made repairs. Next section was, re was repaired by the, the men of Tekoa. Oh dear. But their nobles would not put their shoulders to the work under their supervisors there's one just one one single note here of kind of pride the nobles wouldn't put their shoulders to the work it was 
perhaps consider it beneath them. Um, sad, isn't it? One, but just, just one note in this wonderful, wonderful um, uh, picture of, of, of the, the whole family of God. And it starts off with the priests back there in verse 1 of chapter 3. The, the high priest and his fellow b priests, bless them, they went to work and rebuilt the sheep gate. They, they, they weren't above it and beyond it. Praise God. They, they were right in the mix. Servant leadership, that's, that's very appropriate in the family of God, isn't it? Servant leadership, really, really, really important. I hope we model something of that. But there's this one this little note of discord here. Too proud. It's been my joy over years of being here at King's, at different events, seeing, I'm not going to mention any names, but seeing some people who got very responsible jobs, you know, in, the, in terms of the world, very highly uh, valued and so on, just putting a penny on and serving, just rolling their sleeves up and serving. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's the family of God. What a shame these nobles wouldn't put their shoulders to the work. How are we doing for time? Are we okay? The Dishana gate was repaired by uh, Joida, son of Pasheya, and Meshulam, son of Besoda, Besodaya. Goodness. They laid its beams and put its doors with their bolts and bars in place. Next to them, repairs were made by the men from Gibeon and Mizpah, Melitia of Gibeon and Jadon of uh, Meronoth, places under the authority of the governor of Trans Euphrates. So these people, they're, they're kind of outside. Some of them are outsiders, but they're, they're called to the work. Azil, son of Harahiah, one of the goldsmiths, repaired the next section. All the different gifts here. It's lovely, isn't it? it just the body of Christ. The, you know, the. the the, the, the different, the beautiful different gifts, each one different, bringing something beautiful to the building of the family of God. Very precious. The goldsmith here. And Hananiah, one of the perfume makers. I mean, goldsmiths, perfume makers, they're all here. They're giving, their, giving, giving their gifts to the, to, the, to, the, to the service of the family of God. Beautiful, isn't it? And they made the repairs next to that. They restored Jerusalem as far as as the broad wall. Rephiah, son of Hur, ruler of the half of Jerusalem, repaired the next section. Adjoining this, Jediah, son of, of Haramaph, made repairs opposite his house. And Hattush, son of Hashabniah, made repairs next to him. Malchiah, son of Hiram, and Hashab, son of, of, Pahath, of Pahath Moab, repaired another section. And the tower of the ovens. Shalom, Son of Halohesh, ruler of the half district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section with the help of his daughters. <laughs> it's a family affair. It's all the gifts. It's all the contributions. How can I serve in this wonderful project of the rebuilding of the, the, the people of God, which is what Jerusalem is a picture of. The valley gate was repaired by Hanan and the residents of Zonah, they rebuilt it and put its doors with their bolts and bars in place. They also repaired a thousand cubits of the wall as far as the dung gate. The dung gate was repaired by Malchiah, son of Rechab, ruler of the district of Beth Karem. He rebuilt it and put its bars and bolts in place. I think we've probably, I think I'll have to stop there because I'm running out of time. I hope you got the message this morning. The building up of the people of God. It involves prayer and it involves action. It involves individual, all of us, a family, giving of ourselves, what, whatever the gift we are, whatever gift God's given us for the glory of God and dedicating it to the glory of God, dedicating it to God all the way along. It's beautiful, it's family, it's, 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 it's precious. It may, it, they may seem like very small steps in, in view of what they've got to do, but it's beautiful and every the whole family involved except one or two who are too proud to roll their sleeves up 
and get involved. Lord, oh God, thank you so much for the family of God. Would you give us those sort of hearts that, that love you, that delight in prayer, but also delight in serving, giving ourselves, whatever, whoever we are, whatever we, we have, giving of ourselves to serve the purposes of God in our generation. Help us to be like that. And show us today how we can serve you in the stuff of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Have a great day. And uh, hopefully I'll have a bit more voice tomorrow. Bye now.